Awesome. So we'll talk about uh, the customized deployments today. So if you look here um, in customize, you'll set up a stage like you would for a Kubernetes service, except the, uh, the, the actual manifest type it would be customized instead. And uh, you'll, you know, it'd be support, you know, fetching from Git at, and, you know, the local file store. You can configure your manifest to fetch latest from branch, a specific branch path, a file folder path to your customized manifests. We support like plugins if you're trying to use plugins. Um, and then you have like customized patches, which lets you, you know, apply a patch to like a values YAML if you need to. And we'll talk about patches in more depth in a separate session. But for the base customize, uh, for users who don't use patch, they probably define it as this. Um, and then you might want to, you know, define, you know, some of the, the variables or the, um, the artifact sources. You can, you can specify that and, and, and patch that in through, your, your, through a patches.yaml. You can't do it directly on the customize, but you can pass these values in through a, a patch. So most users, if they're using this, they probably won't be using this, to be honest, if, they, if it's just this setup. So um, continuing forward here. So you would configure your customize, your base customize like this. Your environment and your infrastructure would be the same, like because it is Kubernetes, it's just vanilla Kubernetes. And then in your uh, execution, we still support, you know, the rolling, the canaries, the blue greens. Um, and if you do rolling, you know, uh, we'll do a rollout deployment. Um, I have an approval here and a, and, a, and a delete here to clean up my mess uh, after the demo. So I'll go ahead and run this. And so what you'll see is Harness will go ahead and uh, fetch the files. And we'll show like a, oh, let me go to a, 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 like a finished one. So yeah, you'll see like harness is, we do the service, we'll map all the config, get the variables, right? Infrastructure, we'll say that the inf we've got the infrastructure information. Then um, in the fetch files, you'll notice that we're fetching the customized files. Um, and then we are uh, doing, uh, generating a release. I have no, um, merge strategy right now so we can skip that uh, update then i uh, will render the manifests here so you'll see what we're about to apply and then i'll do a dry run to show what's about to be created and then in the prepare we'll see what the current release number is what's version and what's not versioned um, and then we'll uh, you know fetch the existing pod list and progress forward and then uh, we will actually do the apply. And then you'll see here, we're waiting for the steady state. So you can see here that, you know, I didn't have enough space. So we'll keep waiting until we have the right number of uh, uh, replicas spun up and we have, um, you know, the service actually spun up. And then once it's done in the wrap up, we will print out like, you know, what's in the uh in the execution logs essentially like what's the summary of these resources like what is the ip what's the load balancer ingress what's the deployment data deployment objects data and whatnot so that's that's kind of how um we do this customized deployment today